Welcome to this discussion in the wire. It's been 10 years since the Kandamal communal riots broke in Odisha. More than 50 people, all belonging to the Christian faith, were brutally murdered in broad daylight by a rampaging mob. The trigger for this mob was the murder of the Hindu saint Lakshmananand Saraswati and the mob claimed that it was a Christian conspiracy against the Hindus that led to the murder of the saint. But we have with us Mr. Anto Akara, who over the last 10 years have been working extensively on ground, probing the fallouts and causes of the riot. He has recently come up with a book which is titled Who Killed Lakshmananan Saraswati and has said that uh, it that Christian conspiracy theory, the popular theory that the Sankh Parivar generally kind of propagates everywhere is actually untrue and there is no evidence to back this claim. Instead, he has found many angles in, in Lakshmananan Saraswati's murder that points to a larger conspiracy, a larger political conspiracy by the Sangh Parivar. Uh, he, he claims, he claims that there were many, many incidents before and after the murder uh, to show how Sangh Parivar gained political mileage out of the Kandamal riots. So, we will talk about all these angles and we will we'll ask him how he has come to the conclusion that he has uh, come up with. And before, before we talk to him, we must also let you know that more the, more the 50 people who were killed, their families still await for justice even as 7 people who have already been convicted for the Lakshman, Lakshmananan Saraswati's murder. Uh, welcome Mr. Akara and uh, so you have recently come up with this book, uh, Who Killed Swami Lakshmananda. So Lakshmananda is the figure who who is central to Kandamal riots yes. because he was killed and following which Vishwa Hindu Parishad, Sangh Parivar, everyone talked about how he was killed by Christians in or, uh, and, 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 and there was a backlash, a Hindu backlash against Christians following uh, his murder. Yes. So, uh, what have you found in the book? I tell you, Kandamal reads now, is put it just like a detective now. <laughs> There is a tragic hero, mm -hmm. our protagonist was Swami Lakshmanananda. He was there for 40 years mm -hmm. and uh, Sangha Parivar made use of him and the law of diminishing marginal returns cult comes to operation. Mm -hmm. He was there man, mm -hmm. he worked hard mm -hmm. and his job was to banish Christianity from Kandamal. He went around reconverting, preaching and all that mm -hmm. and ultimately when he was too old, they bombed him off on Janmashtami night. Mm -hmm. Now, this is most crucial element. Mm -hmm. Swami Lakshmanananda's mm -hmm. killing murder took place on the Janmashtami night. Mm -hmm. Within minutes or you can say hours, mm -hmm. the whole world knew who killed the Swami, Christians killed. Mm -hmm. the, all the elaborate preparation has been done and within hours, next morning, four Christians were dumped in the police station, dumped in the police station by Sangha Parivar, they beat them up and thrashed in the police station and it was not Risa police who declared Christians killed the Swami, it was Praveen Thagadiya. Mm -hmm. Praveen Thagadiya held a press conference and said, William Digal, Vikram Digal, Jacob Pradhan and these are the killers of Swami. Mm -hmm. So, it is at the behest of Pope and Sonia Gandhi. Mm -hmm. Now, how does Pope and Sonia Gandhi come into this? Mm -hmm. Subsequently, it is a long story, I stumbled upon a DVD made by the great dubious, I call it a dubious India Foundation. They are abusing the name of the nation. The India Foundation has produced a DVD called The Agony of Kandamal. The, this is the Agony of Kandamal. And this Agony of Kandamal, Swami has, this is just to justify that Hindus were the victims. Now, it is very funny, fascinating. I given a review of this DVD with the full text in the book called the agony of Kandamal, what does it say? Christians are eating merrily in the relief camps, Hindus are starving in the jungles. Why it happen? Who is the responsible? Pope, Sonia Gandhi, Europe and US. How come that? Because Swami is said to have told an anonymous news media, naturally it should be saffron friendly. He said, the whole intention of Europe, US, Pope and Sonia Gandhi is to convert Kandamal into a Christian land. But I have been sent by the gods from the Himalayas to stall it. So I have stalled it, they will try to chase me out. Yeah, Europe, Latra, America, 
पोप और आपका सोनिया गांधी ये एरिया को स्वतंत्र खिटतान बनाने के लिए उनका जो इरादा था भगवान ने हमको हिमालय से भेज दिया वो रुक गए इसीलिए स्वामी जी भगाओ या हम लोग ईसाई तान बनाएंगे मैं जब तक जिंदा हूँ तुमको करना नहीं सो दे हर द एविडेंस हु किल द स्वामी क्रिश्चियंस किल दिस इज नाउ आई गॉट कोटेड फोर साइटेशन सो वेरी क्रूशियल टू दिस द कॉल पे दिस As soon as Swami is killed, Pravin Thakurya says Pope is responsible. This is the, uh, the biggest of Pope. That's what he said. Now, then there are other. He goes to Raipur a few days later, repeats the same thing. Pravin Thakurya. Pravin Thakurya. Yes. Now, in 2015, I went to the ashram as a journalist. Of course, I am an international journalist because I wanted to find out. I am trying to knit together the loop, loose what do you call the the missing links. So I wanted to find out. How this whole thing? I went there, and the custodian of the ashram is called one Kabi Chandranath. Is a with a get a sacred thread, and is a Brahmin from Varanasi. He said from Varanasi, and I asked him. Now he showed me around the room, the toilet where Swami was shot, and all those things. And I asked him now, seven Christians have been convicted for the Swami's murder. Are you satisfied? You feel the killers have been caught. You know what he said? Yes, sir. Pope ne, Sonia Gandhi ne. और कंटमाल के सारे पादरियों ने इकट्ठे करके किया वॉट इज दैट मीन द होल पोप्स कॉन्स्पिरेसी विद माय पॉइंट इज कंटमाल हैपेंड बिकॉज स्वामी मेड द स्टेटमेंट एंड संघ परिवार इट इज नथिंग टू डू माय स्टेटमेंट इज आई फर्मली Uh, sir, you have written in your book that it wasn't a Christian conspiracy; it was, in fact, a conspiracy by the Sangh Parivar yes. to kind of foment riots in Kandamal to gain political advantage out of that situation. So, uh, let us take our viewers through uh, through all the events chronologically. Lakshmana Nanda Saraswati died on uh, in it was yeah he was killed. On August twenty third, Janmashtami, uh, Janmashtami day. day, and you say that the police arrested the first batch of seven people, which Pravin Togadia announced. Not police arrested. Yeah. Po police didn't arrest anyone. No, we let it be very clear, very crystal clear. Mm -hmm. These people were caught. It's all narrated in the book. Mm -hmm. How, including a twelve-year-old orphan boy, yeah. they said they were thrashed and dumped in the police station. They said they emptied their. Uh, they were travelling to Katak to get a job for the boy as a bus a bus attendant or a cleaner in the bus. So the his cousins were taking him. They had because the bus the roads were blocked. They went into a house. They said, "Where you are? Are you coming from? You kill the swami and come." So they removed, emptied their little carry bag, back bag, and they put a Bible, black cloth, and knife. And story was swami is killed, is caught with a. Weapons and mass. No, how can you convincingly say this that the police uh, put a Bible and not and the police, Sangparivar. Sangparivar. They dumped them in the police station. It is narrated from yeah. their own account. Mm. Now look at the funny part. Mm. They were kept in custody. Then three more are coming. It's all narrated. I'm mm. just cutting it short. Mm. These seven were kept in practically for police custody for forty days. Forty days. And then they had they were subjected to lie detection test, mm -hmm. FSL, then the that what they call a forensic laboratory mm -hmm. in Bhubaneswar, mm -hmm. and they said this is all negative. They have nothing to do with it. They are innocent. Mm -hmm. But police want to save themselves. What did they do? They make them sign and uh, what they call affidavit that due to fear we are taken shelter in the police station. Okay, so yeah. they they made them sign a, a sign a, an yes. affidavit yes. declaration yes. where they say that they were in police station by their own choice and yes. not because they are taken shelter in the police taken station. They are taken shelter, yes. In the police. Hmm. And that's one of them of the seven is one of a Christian lawyer, big guy, hmm. and that is perhaps one reason. They didn't want to proceed with this because he he was in Bhubaneswar that night and he was travelling to what they call Kandamal. So he was in his car and also narrated there. So putting a big lawyer's name and a fake case, they know that's not going to succeed. And they are from the main lane church. They are from the Catholic church. So so they thought let us go for a soft target. So what did they do? They after a few days later they have got. A Picked up seven innocent illiterate, six of the militarists, including a mentally challenged from remote Kotagar jungle, mm -hmm. from that area. This is the second batch of. Now those second batch of killers are in jail for last ten years, almost ten years now. They October. have also been convicted. They have been convicted. convicted. Now tell you, I, I, I call it. I mean, I have all the I done law from Delhi University. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me have done. I have all the respect for the judiciary, but I tell you, Kantamal is a blot on Indian judiciary. Mm -hmm. Two judges were 
transferred. Why would you say that? Can you take our readers, uh, uh, viewers through the uh, events that happened in yes. uh, during the yeah. case? The legal process. Yeah, legal process, you. yes. Uh, now, the charge sheet is filed. The, what are the charge sheet says? These seven people, after killing the Swami, mm. they went and to Uttam Gondhiya's house. Uttam Gondhiya is, I mean, uh, he does not say that he is a huge seller, but uh, that is, uh, they went to his house in the middle of the night, mm. wearing masks and guns, mm. knocked on his door and said, give us drinks, we must mm. celebrate, we have killed the Swami. Mm. They took off the mask, so Uttam Gondhiya mm. saw their faces. Mm. Next morning, Uttam Gondhiya went to the local tea store, mm. to Akrura Pradhan's tea store, and he said, I saw the killers of Swami, they had come to me, they had taken drinks from me. So, Uttam Gandhiya became the primary witness. Uh, that is, uh, now listen, <laughs> I tell you, that is the, uh, the charge sheet. Charge sheet says the, uh, that. Uttam yes. Gandhiya mm. is there, mm. then comes Akrura Pradhan, mm. is the, the tea stall owner, there is another one more witness, mm. third one. Now, it comes in the court, this is the charge sheet, it is before the mm. judge. The judge Chitranjan Das asked him, CR Das asked him, mm. what do you say? This is the uh, declaration on your behalf. Sir, we do not know anything. The case is gone. Mm. Then the crime branch SP Santosh Kumar Patnaik, he has run a very dubious role. Mm. He says, no, my uh, witnesses have been threatened by the Christians. Mm. So, he said, you want to retry. Judge said, okay, we will hear them again. Mm. They repeat the same thing. Judge said, judge said this is enough is enough. Mm. So, the judge would not uh, allow, what, what can I do? Mm -hmm. So, he went to the high court and immediately gets a re retrial order, but the retrial never took place. Meanwhile, unfortunately, Justice Chitranjan Das was transferred. Mm -hmm. So, after two years, he is gone. Mm -hmm. Fast track trial, plus seven people are in jail. Mm -hmm. Then comes Justice Biranji and Misra. I tell you, there are honest people in the country, in the judiciary. Mm -hmm. So, Justice Biranji Misra got wind of it. These are innocent people. And he used to say in the open court, why are you keeping these innocent people here? For what? Mm. Ask the crime branch SP and the prosecution. So, judge got so fed up. Finally, he wrote it in the order diary. Your conduct is deplorable. The, the conduct of the invest IO, that is the investigating Justice officer. Justice Biranchi Mishra pulled up the police. Con, uh, yes, police the crime branch SP, the investigating officer mm. and the prosecution, both. For, uh, because they could not produce they any not only worthwhile evidence. evidence. They, they were yes. delaying the process. He they will not delay. appear. Mm. Judge wants the, he said, I am busy in Bhubaneswar. So, he said, you are delaying justice. I cannot give an order. So, judge got so fed up. He wrote it in the order diary, this conduct is deplorable. Can you imagine? Mm. Deplorable. Mm. So, what happened? A couple of months later, mm. we, this crime branch SP, Sandosh Kumar Patnai got a police medal for the Republic Day mm. and uh, Biranji Misra's fast track court was shut down, he was transferred. Mm. So, it became a judicial farce. So, after the fast track court was shut down, the case was shifted to a sessions court? Not immediately. No, no. I tell you, nothing happened. Now, now, I said, uh, I met uh, by new because I have been going after it. Mm. So, I met even Home Minister Shinde mm. and I asked him, sir, this is a farce. Why do not you order an NIA inquiry? It is not written in the book, but this is what I had done. Mm. I had met Home Minister and gave him evidence. There are so much of evidence. Mm. This is a farce. First track court trial is over after four years. Mm. Judge is transferred, court is shut down, there is no verdict. No verdict. Yes. So, we, I released this book called Kandamal Craves for Justice for the 5th Anniversary. Mm. And that was the story of Kandamal Craves for Justice. Mm. Look at this way, almost 100 Christians, officially there is a 39, mm. but Christians say there are nearly 100 Christians killed, 300 churches, 56, uh, three, 300 churches, 6,000 Christian houses, 56,000 homeless. Mm. Now, who are in jail? Mm. 7 innocent Christians. So, I said, this is a farce. So, let the uh, Kandamal Christ for Justice. We had Justice A.P. Shah, the ch former Chief Justice of Delhi. Mm -hmm. Then he became the Law Commission Chairman. Mm -hmm. We got Digvijay Singh. We got Swami Agnivesh, uh, Brinda Grover, Senior Supreme Court Lawyer. All said, let there be an NIA inquiry into Kandamal. Mm -hmm. Now, then surprising things happen. Soon, Justice Rajendra Kumar Tosh, R.K. Tosh is known. He is appointed as a special, additional special, I mean, the Sessions Court in Fulbani. This case is transferred to him and all of a sudden comes the verdict, the shocking verdict. I had met a, a man who had done a lot of work for the innocent people in jail, that is Sandosh Kumar Padi. He died on August 4th, this 6, 18, this year. Sandosh Kumar Padi told me, sir, you do not worry, I will get them released because there is no evidence. Judge has been saying in the open court, they are innocent. But the fact so, is, what became the basis of the conviction of these seven people? No, the, judge, the judgment, 
I tell you, God raises more questions <laughs> than yeah. anything else. So the opening paragraph, I show it, I will come to that. Mm. Opening paragraph of the judgment, anyone, forget about a judge, forget about a lawyer, any man with a simple common sense, you are putting the horse, sorry, putting the cart before the horse. Mm. That is how it is done. Mm. The judgment says, and one key word, Vedanta Kesari Swami Lakshmananda Saraswati. Mm. So, I met one of the top lawyers in the Supreme Court discuss this and he asked me, do you better find out what is the source for this Vedanta Kesari coming into the judgment of a secular court and that is tied to in the opening sentence. Mm -hmm. And I found, he said, you check the FIR, it is not there. You check the chart sheet, it is not there. And I found, where was it? It was in the fake Betikola resolution that mm -hmm. Christians suppose her, supposed to have passed a resolution to kill the Swami and this document has been cited as a crucial evidence in the judgment mm -hmm. of a Christian conspiracy. Betikola resolution which talks about a Christian conspiracy to sacrifice a human being. Not, uh, to sacrifice, no, not sacrifice, no, no, that is interpretation different. That is, I mean, Hindu way is they are saying, we Christians have decided to offer a life of a monk on Janmashtami day mm. and on the eve of the foundation day of the Vishwagandhu Parishad mm. for the devilish satisfaction of God. No, okay, yes. Christians, so, and that is supposed to have passed on 25th of May. Mm. And this parish, I have been to the place called Betticola, it's a small parish, immediately the church was pulled down, they had, those people have been banished from that village. They are living 17 kilometers away in a jungle, they don't dare to go back. That parish is, the church is not there, Betticola, all the Christians have been coming, that is kind of attack because they say these are the people, this is the kind of propaganda. Now, funny part is that you also say that Betticola resolution was forged, how do you know that? No, that's what I am, I will tell you. Now, in the judgment, it is cited as a crucial evidence. Now, I, I have respect for the judiciary, but sometimes the judgment raises questions, you know, you, you lose confidence in the judiciary. Now, there was a hearing, then some Hindutva groups, I think, uh, to go through, it's all quoted there, it's a long story. Uh, I think Vishwanda Parishad, some of the people moved the Orissa High Court saying, there should be a fresh inquiry into Kandamal to get the conspirators and all that. So, the judge said there should be a special investigation into this on the basis of this particular resolution. High court gave an order, but nobody followed it up. I do not know. If high court gives an order, why nobody follows it up? I do not understand. Anyway, now this is presented as crucial evidence by the crime prosecution and the crime, crime branch SP. Then what happens? They, they are convicted. Hmm. Now, two years later, this Sandosh Kumar Patnai, crime branch SP who claimed to have, who stitched together the Kandamal fancy detective kind of novel, the man, he goes to Justice Naidu, Commissioner Venguri and says, Betikola resolution is forged. Okay. Betikola resolution is forged. If that is forged, then what is the basis for keeping these people in jail? He does not move. The police does not move. Now, another IG, he said there was there, he said initially in the court that it seems that money has changed hands from Christians to Maoists to carry out the execution. Mm. Then the same just uh, that he called the DGP, you know, DGP, uh, uh, what he called, uh, is uh, uh, direct, uh, di uh, okay, yes, uh, DG, like, uh, not the chief, police chief, mm. but he called AD, AD, ADG, ADG, uh, yes. ADGP. Mm. So, he is one dry. He said the Justice Nadu Commission, the, we investigated this, but there is nothing of it. Okay. So, now so, two, two questions emerge from here, which is you are talking about Justice Naidu Commission, which was formed right after the Kandamal riots. No, 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 no. There is a, there is a long story and let me interrupt. No, why has it been made no, public? Yeah, well, no, let me come. It is not Justice Naidu Commission. First was Justice S.C. Mahapatra Commission. Now, it, this whole fast continues. It is not only in Kandamal everywhere. Mm. A 78 year old judge was appointed to investigate Kandamal. Mm. People in the prime of youth would not go there at that time. Now, the roads are much better. Those days were horrible. Mm. It takes minimum 7 hours from Bhubaneswar to get into Kandamal, mm. to enter to enter Kandamal. Now, you can reach in 5 hours. The roads are much mm. better. 78 year old retired judge S.C. Mahapatra, Sharat Chandra Mahapatra was appointed as the interim, for the in investigation. And unfortunately, Justice uh, Mahapatra died. Mm. And then Justice Naidu took over in 2011. Now, I had an encounter with Justice Naidu, sorry, Justice mm -hmm. Mahapatra, mm -hmm. because within immediately after taking over, he gave an interim report. 
this interim report says this is all about conversions, fake, fake certificates, what the Sangha Parivar has been, it has nothing to do with uh, all this thing, whitewashing for the Sangha Parivar. Mm -hmm. So, I called him up, I got his mobile number and called him up, sir, I had done, I went to Kandamal several times, I wrote a book. He said, no, I have not got any evidence. I said, how come your report is silent on the violence and the refugees and the people killed? No, he said, I have no evidence. So, I said, I have plenty of evidence. I have written a book, Kandamala Blot on Indian Secularism. Then he said, why do not you send me a copy of this? I will treat it as evidence. So, I said, I will not send it, I will give you. This is what I said. I called him up, took an appointment, I went to meet him. When I went and sat with him for uh, like uh, two hours, one and a half hours, he gave me a lecture on Kandamal, how these people have been Panas and tribal, all those issues, British, he gave me a big lecture and he said, uh, you know, uh, what, now tell me what should I do in the end. He, uh, so, I said, sir, my simple request is, you know, uh, let us forget that. Now, see, there was a story floating around the news time. It was reported many dailies that uh, the accused number is around uh, 100,000, 90. 1000 people were accused of this lo looting no? because you say 6000 Christian houses, 300 churches and all that they have been named in FIR. So, he says you know how can we, we do not have enough jails. Now, look at the language of a judge appointed to investigate a violent, the kind of communal situation. He says we do not have enough jails. We, who is this we? He is also part of the government. So, okay. So, I said sir. Uh, let us forgive the looters and the torches, as we say. I you know this is a social problem. That is his justification. That's a, that is how they are trying to justify. Okay, I said let us forgive this looters and uh, torches. But I, I said you must get the butchers mm -hmm. because uh, hundred people killed. There is hardly anyone in jail. Mm -hmm. Then you know what he told me. He said murderers may be innocents. This is a, another extension of that, I do not know. Oh, a judge, a high court, retired high court judge and that is what was reflected in his interim report. Then he died, then Justice Nayadu took over and uh, he has uh, submitted his report to Odisha uh, to the chief minister because he is head of the home ministry in 22nd of December 2015. We are nearly three years. It is still in the cupboards. Report has been submitted, but it has not been made, made public, public. You're saying, and any idea why why the Odisha government has not made it public? I, I mean, I cannot say. I have not seen the report. Mm. But people ask many things, but as a journalist who has gone to Kandamal 26 times, interacted yeah. <laughs> with all these people, mm. my impression is that there is unpleasant things for the government also, mm. because why did it happen? What was the government doing at the time? Mm. Of course, Sangubariwar, you know, it was their conspiracy. But why did you facilitate that? Yeah. That question, the government is responsible. No, of course, we know that the B Navin Patnaik government that time was a coalition partner of the BJP, yes. and he he made Kandamal the point of departure also in 2009 yes. elections where he the when it became severe ties with BJP and fought the yes. elections alone. And you yes. tell, you, you, uh, you didn't know hmm. that uh, one of the ministers. BJP ministers in Navin Patnaik cabinet was leading the funeral procession shouting all kind of, it was not I know the other day we got the 10th anniversary. You are talking about uh, the funeral procession, procession of the Swami going around for two full days. Hmm. What I show I mean, there, I, they, their argument was now Swami is killed in his ashram. This is where he has been living for several years. Mm. They could have easily buried him there, but they said we must take him to the other end of the district. You have seen the route map, maybe you can produce people so will have more. Two whole days funeral processions were going on where Sankh Parivar was kind of fuel anger among yes. the Hindu inciting, community. Inciting, inciting. It is yes. a call to violence. Yeah. Yes, so, that, that brings me to the next question. Also, we talked about the conviction of seven people in the murder of. Uh, Lakshmanananda Saraswati, but what happened to those people, uh, officially the record is 32 people were killed, but in your book you show 75 people were killed yeah, that's and what you have documented those 75 not people. Second, yeah. Not all the 75, hmm. let me make a difference now, hmm. now I will have to come back to that. Hmm. So, what this is how I got into to Kandaman. Yeah. I, as an international journalist, I have been guest of the LTT, I have been in Myanmar, they try me out, all sorts of <laughs> the bits. I went to Kandamal as a journalist and we since associated with the, some of the Christian networks, but a highly thoroughly ruthlessly professional agency. Mm. Because I wrote the book, my CNS said you will not report Kandamal again mm. because it is a conflict of interest. When you are doing advocacy, you cannot write on the same thing. So, I am banned from reporting my own agency. Mm. They said you do whatever you like, that is your freedom because we work on freelance basis, but you cannot write on Kandamal. 
So, my point is I was there and I found that uh, third time I was in the one of the camps for Christmas celebration, collector come to, comes to cut the cake and he is leaving. The deputy collector, his name is Dr. Vinil Krishna, he was the deputy collector over Balikoda area. And I think the day became PS2 Jairam Ramesh, Minister Jairam Ramesh and all that, I do not know where, where is he now. I asked him, good that you did, but why do not you acknowledge those killings? My problem is government got given a list of 75 people killed. I mean sorry, 32 people killed, I got a list of 75 prepared by the churches. So, I have put it in this, you see this in this book, we got this, I put uh, officially killed is and then bold, <laughs> non-bold is unacknowledged kind of killing. So, what so, is happening to these cases? No, that is what I am saying. The cases yeah. which involves these killings. So, I highlighted mm. this, so I told him why do not you acknowledge the killings. So, he said why do not you stay here and give us evidence. These are cooked up stories, I tell you these two words that these are cooked up. I said, please, do not say that. I know few murders and I have been going. He said, I can't do anything. You stay, stay here and give us evidence. No, but at least the official account is 32 killings. So, yeah. what is happening to the cases pertaining to those 32 no, that's murders? I will yes. tell you what, mm. what I did and mm. what has happened mm. subsequently. Mm. Now, he said, you give us evidence. You have said, I am not one who stays here. What can I? Then I will do it on my own way. I took it as a challenge. That changed my life. I went, I went to Kandamal every month and one third, I think 7th of April, I came out with this booklet. You can call it a booklet. It's not, I do not call it a book. Mm. Kandamal, a blot on Indian secularism on 7th April, Kuldeep Naya released it. Mm. His land was so poised, mm. you know, Rampunyani wrote the foreword, Swami Agnivesh, Professor mm. Kamal Jitra Chainoy from JNU, they were all there, made a huge impact. Within three weeks after this release, Orissa government submitted a fresh affidavit in the Supreme Court considering the five murders I had highlighted in the book. So, the Christian death toll, then they had two more, so they had six and then one more was, so 39 Christians killed, so 32 became. So, I was happy, what I wanted was compensation for the families. If you do not file an FIR in a murder, the state government has to give two lakhs and two lakhs from the state government. And when the FIR list is forwarded to the central government, they get another 3 lakhs from the Prime Minister's relief fund. So, if you do not file an FIR, you are denying them 5 lakhs. Not only that, there is no prosecution, the criminals get, the culprits get away. Yeah, are they being prosecuted or not, the people who killed these people? No, this uh, is, is the uh, police investigating yes. these people so, or not? So, officially that 39 stays there. And then I tell you, Kandamal churches in the jungle, they are not that as per, there have been lot, I do not go into that. But they, this unfortunately, official death toll remains 39. And the government said there are some Hindus who were killed, Swami's ashram, them, some were killed in CRP firing. So, government statistics is 52 killed in Kandama. Government, that is, a, let me put the record that figures, right? 52. Christians say 100, nearly 100, some say more, I do not know, I mean, I have not been able to, but they are given some say 70 or 97, whatever it is. The point is, there has been an attempt to, that uh, there is no more evidence, so that part is closed. But what happened in the fast track court, 20, initially 21 cases came up until they were shut down. Then they meant I think 31 more case judgment was pending. In the 29 cases, 27 acquittals, that is terrible. 29 because a man accused of 7 murders, he was arrested under National Security Act because you know it was making so much of headlines. It was not two days, Kandamal went for weeks. So, it was in the parliament, there was so much of pressure. The collector, the SP got this, whom I have called butcher of Kandamal, called Manoj Pradhan. He was a BJP guy. He was put up, arrested, and put it in the behind bars under the National Security Act. And the BJP, whatever is a fact, they put him up as a candidate for the elections from behind the bars. And he won the election. And when he is elected, immediately he was released on bail by the High Court that MLA cannot be kept in behind bars. So, MLA comes to the fast track court, makes it his office, like he sits at the entrance of the fast track court in an easy chair, surrounded by a crony of lawyers. Anyone who comes to the court is threatened, including policemen. The widows are threatened. Yeah? So, what do you expect the widow to say in the before the judge? So, they were getting acquittal, 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 acquittal. This is the travesty of justice. Now, this is an issue which Justice Thakur, T. S. Thakur, mm. yes, Justice Thakur has in his final verdict on Kandamal, which came in 2nd of August 2016. But I tell you, it is very sad. The original petition was a writ for seeking the deployment of the army 
and the verdict came eight years later. Mm -hmm. No, I mean there is something wrong with our judicial system. So, what was the verdict? No, Justice Thakur said the week it is unacceptable this kind of acquittals, and he has given the list no, of he, the whole the first trial. He, he wanted 315 cases to be reinvestigated. Reinvestigated. Yeah. Yeah, yes. But two years is over. Nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. But, uh, you, you, uh, but let us get back to uh, we know there has been a travesty of justice, as you say, in in cases pertaining to those killed, but. You also talk about that it was a planned conspiracy by the Sangh Parivar to first kill Lakshmananand Saraswati, which sounds like a conspiracy theory in itself. So, how do you prove that and could you talk a little bit about why do you say that it was an organized attempt by the Sangh Parivar yeah. to create a riot like situation? Uh, what have you written in your book? See, no, not written because I was compelled. See, for me, uh, that's my in my spirit. I did law from Delhi University. Human rights has been you my You talk passion. about these books. Yeah, also. I'll tell yeah. you. I'll come. Mm. I'll come yeah. into this. Mm. Uh, so now, what has happened, Kantamal is I knew there was an issue. This innocence. So far, see what moved me was that affairs were not filed. Mm. But somehow I couldn't stop. I started going. Then more. Then editors started banning me, like because they said you can't write. But I couldn't give up. It has been very stressful on me. I don't take money, but I never gave up on Kantama. I started going each time I would go, something would throw, something new would come. Then I will follow it up with the secular people, different places, you no, know, even Delhi here and there. So it throws up a different kind of the shadows were lengthening. The shadows of suspicion. I knew everybody knew that this is not Christians who did. How did they, who did? Why did nobody knew at that time? Nobody. I mean, of course, people who did they knew that, but others, everybody had a suspicion. Then I was going around. So, this book was floating around. I met uh, one change, this called Harvest of Hate, Kandamal in Kuras by Michael Parker. And somebody showed me, they said, this book has come by courier to many people. Mm. And this is published by Great India Foundation. Mm. Now, you know what is India Foundation. Mm. Many of the people are coming to know what, what, is, what does that mean. Now, my problem is, I wanted to get a copy, there is no chance. I went through this, I knew this is canards and nonsense. Mm. Supposed to be written by Michael Parker. Mm. Then, as who's uh, Michael Parker? That's what I'm saying. Mm. Even I didn't know there is. He's supposed to be an American uh, anthropologist based in what you call Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Mm. Now, the funniest part is the forward to this Michael Parker. This harvest of hate is written by now our present honourable Defence Minister Nirmala Sitharaman, mm. and she says at the beginning of the book and in her publishes note what you call it like a forward who is also in the board of india foundation yeah yes. so she is not here she is director in the foundation mm. when she writes this when, yes. so what she says our researcher mr michael parker is an american social researcher based in seattle as one born in india now this is where i got really <laughs> fascinated with this kandamal fraud as one born in india at the end of the book it says michael parker was born in atlanta georgia us <laughs> so i knew this must be something deeper i wanted a copy i couldn't get and it if you call it destiny or whatever telepathy whatever it is i happened to be in kerala quite accidentally in my hometown I had I was, since I had to write a reporting on issue on with the conflict between church and the government. I called the head of the Catholic Church asked for some clarification. Then he said, "No, I can't talk to you now. I know him well." So he said, "No, I can't talk to you now. Ramadhav is coming. The RSS people are coming for a visit for a harmony visit. Harmony visit. Imagine harmony visit." And we had this. Uh, I said, "Okay, I'll go. To, you can call me later. We'll talk in the afternoon." I said, "Fine." And when he left, he called me. This bishop called me and said, Anto, they have given me a lot of gifts. It's all about Kandamal. Why don't you take it? It might be useful to you. So I went and took this is this copy has come from Ramatau. So you know the source now the, the shadows are in lengthening. I went through this quite. Then I was still on it. And then we worked on these things. Then I found that I was uh, Googling for some information, and one day I stumbled upon another Parker. So first is this is you got Michael Parker here. Then I got another Brandon Parker. So I this is the cover. So I was what the hell is this? The two Parkers the same. Then I said uh, soft copy you have to pay in, in ebook you have to pay eleven plus dollars, eleven something. I paid by credit card and downloaded this and I tallied both the books are one and the same.
they are the same books one of the with dicto. different names only thing is one is harvest of hate and yes. the other one is orissa in the crossfire this is michael parker this mm -hmm. is brandon parker mm -hmm. now so then i felt i must get a hard copy <laughs> So I ordered the hard copy by Express Courier. I paid almost ninety dollars, mm -hmm. but I got so. Mm -hmm. Then I found out this is more fascinating. Here, Brennan Parker says this report was presented to U.S. State Department by Ram Madhav. Mm -hmm. So who is behind all this? Then Brennan Parker has listed his. Uh, he is very thankful to all the contributors who helped him to combine this work, and he says. Uh, Ramada is also one of his uh, assistants <laughs> that way contributor and one key contributor is Rajaran Satpadi who is the Times of India bureau chief Times of India head in Odisha I went to Rajaran Satpadi that's what I went to verify so I went to Rajaran Satpadi and asked him see uh, I said uh, you been to Kantamal you know quite familiar is I know I gone long ago but not after swami was killed okay I said do you know Michael Parker no do you know Brandon Parker no but I said both of them have interviewed you So they are saying in my interview with the Raja Ram Sadhpadi, mm. he said, "Show me the text." I showed him the text, both the texts. I showed him same ditto quotes, ditto quotes. Mm. He, he has been quoted eight times in these books. So he said, "No, <laughs> this is nonsense. I don't know who has done this." So this is a book. You as are you saying there is no author called Brennan Parker or Michael? There Parker? names are there. No, I got lot of in, I mean, U.S. connections, and I've been to U.S. and all that. So I told my friend, one my friend said there are forty-three Michael Parkers. Mm, yeah. <laughs> no, yes, one fellow is associated with the Sangha Parivar and but all. But India that. Foundation published it. No, but what comes now? See, the, again, the same problem comes now. So I got this kind of evidence. Meanwhile, I said the legal side, what has happened? The cost was shut down. The innocent. So I had met Home Minister Shinde. I came out with this book for the fifth anniversary. That is. Kandamal cries for justice. Court is shut down. There is no, I mean, uh, there is no verdict. Judge has been transferred. So the, let, let everyone. So Justice A P Shah released the book. Think Vijay Singh. All these people. Let everybody said. Let there be an AI inquiry into Kandamal. It was soon after this that this verdict, this what they call the shocking verdict came. Then one of them told me, "You better find out who is the owner of this address from which this has been published." The address is India Foundation, and they give an email ID. I sent emails, and I never got a reply. There is no phone number. Very strange. Eh? You are, and, and ironically, this has been reviewed by great journalist uh, M. B. Kamat as a honest documentation, honest in inverted commas, honest documentation. And the address is address reads: This is India Foundation, flat number three forty three, Chandanwadi Society, sector ten. Dwaraka, New Delhi, double one double zero four five, and uh, India Foundation at Gmail. It's a Delhi address. Yeah. Yes, but so somebody told me you better find out who is behind this. But I never took it serious. I told someone. He went there and then said, "I said my friend." He went there and he found that uh, he was a family on rent there. So he asked them uh, who is the landlord. We don't know. We got it from property dealer. So he said, but one guy told me, you know, be careful. There will be something serious, fishy behind it. But I tell you, in 2015. So the Kandamal journey has been very long one. To imagine, I got the book in 2012. Now 2015, I had to address a conference at a five-star hotel in a welcome group, Dwaraka, Sector 10. So this stuck me. I, this is again the same Dwaraka. <laughs> so I went during the lunch break. I went to this flat, Chandanwadi apartment, and asked the guard. See, there are important documents coming. I am a researcher. Can I have uh, talk to this address people to get some copies? Then he called the uh, the people who are staying there. They said no, uh, refused to talk to me. Then I told the guard again. Then I talked to them. They said, we are only tenants here. I said, who is your landlord? Ajit Kumar Dhawal. Then I said, really? I came back and told the Supreme Court lawyer who has been coordinating the legal challenge in the court. What she got shivering? Said, my goodness. So who is behind the Kantamal? Then I got to confirm. All the documents we got is confirmed. The flat is registered in the name of Ajit Kumar Dhawal, who is presently the national security advisor of the country. Well, who is also part of the India Foundation? Yes, so probably. No, this is yes. the India Foundation mm -hmm. address. Mm -hmm. No, what happens after India comes to power? India Foundation comes out of the closet. You are saying the all these kind of hatred literature, two days funeral funeral procession procession, VHPs. 
uh, campaign in Kandamal, everything points out that there is more to Kandamal. Yes. Uh, more to Kandamal which needs to be investigated right now. Yeah, it has to be an elaborate conspiracy at the highest level. So, the, pre, the, I said the elaborate preparation to say the conspiracy that that who participated in the meeting to kill the Swami, 150 people's name, I have produced it in the book. That list is in the pocket of a local CRPF area, commander of the area. So, there was such elaborate preparation was made to spread this rumor, that the theory that Christian was a conspiracy. What was the goal? You may wonder why? Why Kandamali? Why should the people sitting in Delhi do this? This was very nicely planned. What was the conspiracy? It has nothing to do with the Kandamal. My statement number one, my finding number one is Kandamal has nothing to do with the Kandamal. Kandamal is all about the crookedness of the Sangha Parivar. Because Swami said this, what did the Swami say? The whole intention of Europe, US, Pope and Sonia Gandhi is to convert Kandamal into a Christian land. I have been sent gods from the Himalayas to stroll it, so they will finish me off. That is what he meant. So, who killed the Swami? Christians killed, international Christian conspiracy. Now, the Sangha Pari were doing it before. You remember our LK Adwani was the deputy prime minister. When Staines was killed, what did he say? This is an international conspiracy to defame the BJP government. What was the who was the culprit? Darasi. Darasi. Yes. Now this so this is routine. This blaming Christians or international conspiracy. This is a typical fascist kind of strategy. Now what happens here? Why Sonia Gandhi? Sonia, you know, I produce in the book. There's a picture. It's a very powerful. The sub cover page of this Panchajanya, that is the Hindi mouthpiece of the Sangha Parivar. Panchajanya is a pope. And Sonia Gandhi, Papa ka beti hai. Sonia Gandhi kone Papa ka beti hai. When did this appear? This was when Sonia Gandhi was forced to take over the Congress leadership in 1990. You remember that Sridharan Kasari was made to resign, Congress was rudderless. Sonia Gandhi, the grieving widow of Rajiv Gandhi, was forced to take over the Congress leadership. I think she came in unwittingly. At that time, immediately, Sangha Parivar for the 2009, uh, sorry, 1998 election comes with the cover story. Sonia Gandhi, Papa ka beti hai. For what? She has comes to Christianize India. This is what Sangha Parivar has been. This is a bit to take over this country. Now, the big guys will not say publicly, but in the saffron literature, saffron language, it is very much there. So, there is a strategy. So, the, what was their idea? So, the strategy was to make, to lure Sonia Gandhi to dismiss the Orissa so government. That was a political strategy of the Sangha Parivar to use in the 2009 election. Exactly, exactly. We will leave it at that, sir. It is it's pretty much clear that over the last 10 years, there are many things which have not uh, worked perfectly in the investigations. There are failures on many fronts, both from the administrative side and the legal side. As so many people are still awaiting justice, uh, there is definitely a case for reopening a number of cases, reinvestigating a, a number of other aspects that Mr. Akara has pointed out. Uh, until then, uh, we will have to see what the Odisha High Court, uh, which has a pending petition already, says about all these aspects. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for logging into The Wire and keep watching. To receive instant updates on all videos from The Wire, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Pay to support independent journalism. Click the link in the description and choose the amount you want to pay.